Hi everyone. So this is quite a nice question on how you set up uh, for the big M. And this was on the 2019 paper. Uh, right, so let's have a look then. So it says, first of all, it says, explain why the simplex can't be used. So if you remember, say it was like just linear programming, the idea is to have my whole feasible regions there. And I add on the slacks to take me up to the line. So all my inequalities are less than or equal to. Can't do that. I can't deal with greater than or equal to. So these three constraints, well, them two constraints there, they're just stuffed us over. So for part A, so we can't solve, I can't do simplex, if constraints, yeah, constraints is the right word, isn't it? Constraints are greater than or equal to. Right, so it says to set it up. Okay, so my 3x plus y plus 2z less than or equal to 30. So that one's okay, that's just got me the add on the s. So that one becomes a 3x. plus y, plus 2z, plus s1 is equal to 30. So the next one, where it's greater than, you're kind of looking at, if it was on like a 2D linear program, you're kind of looking at something like that. But what it does then, it adds on, but it takes away this to drag it down, so it'll take away an s value. Then almost bounces it back up to the line by adding on this artificial variable. So we've done this with a two stage. Uh, so I've got uh, so x minus y plus z is greater than or equal to eight. So that transforms into x minus y plus z. So I'm going to take away an s two. So that drags it down. And then I'm going to add on the artificial value, which now bounces it back up to the line. And what you want really is your artificial values to be zero when you're doing two stage, so they're not even there. Um, but we're doing big F now. So we cheat round that with an, an arbitrary large constant M, which everybody says is an arbitrary large constant M, and they just smile at you because they don't know what's going on. Well, I've joined, joined that club too, so don't worry about that. So if you ask me about Big M, it's just a way of getting around it by having an arbitrarily large constant M. So I've right, so got 4Y plus 2Z, take away S3, add on A2 is equal to 15. My P, so I've got to be careful with this now. So. When I was doing simplex, it was just take it away, but like move it all over. But what I need to do now with big M is take away M lots of the sum of AI. So I need a sum of AI, don't I? Right, so if I do a slight rearrange of that one's fine, got to that one. Do a slight rearrange of this one. So a1 is 8 minus x plus y minus z plus s2 there. And then a2 is 15 minus 4y minus 2z plus s3 there. Then if I add them together for the sum of ai, probably need more room actually, so let me move that sum of ai over a little bit. So I've got the 8 plus the 15 is a 23. I've got minus x, minus 3y, minus 3z, plus s2, plus s3, sneaking on the end there. Right, so that's right, isn't it? So 23. Minus x, minus 3y, minus 3z, that's exactly it. Alright, so then I've got my 2x plus 2y minus z minus m lots of this 
So 23 minus x minus 3y minus 3z plus s2. I'm bound to make a mistake here, aren't I? You know why, you know why. So I've got a 2x, a 2y, a minus z. I've got minus 23m. I've got plus m lots of x, plus 3m lots of y, plus 3m lots of z, minus m lots of s2, minus m lots of s3. Watch me on my signs because you know I'm going to make a mistake. So P, so let's, let's look at, um, let's look at simplifying it in terms of x and y and z. So for x, I've got a 2x and an mx. So I've got 2 plus m lots of x. For y, I've got a 2y and a 3my. So 2 plus 3m lots of y. Uh, for z, I've got a minus z and a plus 3m. So can I, uh, shall I write it as minus 1 plus 3m or shall I write it as 3m minus 1? 3m minus 1 is nicer, isn't it? Lots of z. So then I've got my m, s2, my m, s3, and then I've, I've nearly forgotten the value of minus 23m, which I'm kind of just leaving on the end because it stays there. Then just like simplex, I move everything else over onto the other side. So I've got p minus 2 plus m lots of x minus 2 plus 3m lots of y, minus 3m minus 1 lots of z, plus m s2, plus m s3 is equal to a value of minus 23m there. So these now, so let's this. So this, I this, and this, and this, and this, and this big lump here, Need to go into my table over now. So watch me for making mistakes on this. So I've got a three, a one, a two, a one, a zero, 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 thirty. Look, it's even put the values in front of this picture. I'm not in the right place. Uh, so S one goes with my basic variable. Let's move up a little bit more. So then I've got a one, a minus one, a one. A zero, a minus one, zero, one, zero for eight, and then I'll see that 15. Never mind. Uh, so that was on uh, now with simplex, you'd use the s's with two stage, and uh, begin you look at the a's, so that'd be an a1 there, and it'd be an a2 for this one. Uh, so what have we got? So we've got zero lots of x, four lots of y. 2 lots of z, 0, 0, minus 1, oops, let me extend that a little bit. Yeah. Minus 1, 0, 1 is equal to 15. And then I've got the big whopper to put in there. Uh, oh, I so, far, I? so then I've got minus 2 plus m. I've got minus. 2 plus 3m. I've got minus 3m minus 1. I've got for S1, I've got nothing. For S2, I've got m. For S3, I've got m. For A, I've got nothing, nothing. And that's equal to minus 23. M. <laughs> there you go. What do you reckon about that then? <laughs> so that's kind of like the setup for this for, for big M. There. there we are. Nine minutes it's took me. Right. Oh.